Hello everybody, this is Jennifer. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. Today I have <clears throat> one of my favorite things, and I was going to show you this for Christmas time. This one I made last year um, are the pop-up shopping gift bag. So it pops up, as you can see, this one's a little tissue paper's a little beat up there. Um, but oh my gosh, they're so cute. And I just think that is the cutest way to then, you just would slip your little card goes right in here okay so it doesn't as long as you have a little tissue paper it doesn't fall out easily actually you can see there's still one in there <laughs> so uh, i believe that's old but who knows one of the google ones maybe maybe not probably swiped it out of one of my kids so so that's a, just a really simple one i'm going to show you how to make it it is so quick and easy and you are going to love it so i'm using <clears throat> this as a base color these are some accents and i think i'm gonna make the um i think i'm gonna make actually probably use the this pink for the actual little shopping bag and you know for your inside for your sentiment so i'm just gonna show you what to do i'm gonna try and do more videos this year um using what we have because i keep people seeing people say oh i need to use it up use it up i'm like that's how i am i use like five pages out of a paper pad and now the rest is sitting there so i'm gonna try and do that although i will tell you some cool cool things i got over the holidays i'll show you those at a, a later time so first thing i'm going to do is just cut the base um the blue side so that's the actual the outside of the card and that measurement is going to be four and a quarter by 11 inches so i'm starting with the 12 by 12 but as long as you have you know even your eight and a half by 11 or a4 which is what eight by 11 and a quarter whatever you this will work for you so four and a quarter by 11 so we'll just do our four and a quarter first so four and a quarter and since this is just going to be to 11 we're just going to put that right on there okay so that's the easy one probably should have done a different color so you can see not have to be pink on pink but you know how that goes okay on this one we're going to score at three and a half and eight and a half so super easy one two three and a half a couple little down there and eight and a half again is it in the camera eight and a half so a burnish done and this was let's see what is this i think this is crafters companion so it's 230 gsm is what this one is i believe but so there it forms the base of our card however you want to do it open it this way whichever okay so let's set that aside it's going to be for the inside of my card and it is going to be i think it's a four by four yeah four by four this is just simple 65 weight you know wherever from wherever um card stock and we're just doing this is going to be what you're going to either add your sentiment or you want to stamp something on it i'm not going to do that yet and i actually don't even adhere this until the very end because i want to know exactly what i'm going to be at it so it'll go like this because our little bag is going in this section okay so this is where this is going to go in your card okay the next one i'm going to show you is this is what i'm going to use for my little gift bag and it is going to be um four by nine and a quarter so let me first and now we're going to go to four four oh my gosh i'm like just knocking everything all over because that is how crowded my desk is right now by nine and a quarter and this is single side this is out of the same from last year's michael's um valentine's paper so four by nine and a half okay and uh, let me get the score um, so what we're going to be doing is scoring at three and a half. Then four. So we have, these are actually going to be the gussets. You'll see. Then four and a half. Eight. 
So we're still in there. I think we are still in there. I tried to make sure it was far enough back we could see it. Eight and a half. And obviously nine. Okay. There we go. Once we have it done this way, if you can see, can you see the little, I hope you can kind of see the creases. We're going to rotate it to the short side up and we're going to score at one inch. And three and a half inches. So I think you're getting the idea. So you can see probably on here, small side, big side. This is going to be the bottom. The thick side, I believe, is going to be our top that we're going to be folding over. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. So we're going to start with in the middle. Here is, these are going to make your gussets. So you're going to see on the end that is going to go in on that one. So you are going to have to kind of do both ways. There we go. Okay, so you can see already how that's going to be the end of one, right? Let's do the other one. Here's our crease in our cutie pie bag and the end. Okay, so what we're going to end up with, will be this way, is our little bag. Isn't it cute? Okay, so let me see. I'm hoping that kind of shows you how that's going, right? Okay, so let me show you what ones we're going to get rid of really quickly and um then we'll glue okay so the portions i'm hoping you can see it's probably easier on the color but this is the section we're getting rid of all this here these portions that make your gussets so like this whole little section this whole big section okay we're getting rid of that one and in the middle we're going to get rid of all this same thing, this one, you can see this is where the peak is. And we're going to get rid of here and here as well. So let's cut those out. Again, using my favorite erasable pens, but we're going to toss these so it does not matter. Okay, where are my glasses? Hang on. I definitely need, oh, that's what I was going to show you guys. Oh my gosh. This is my new favorite toy, okay? You probably can't see because it's going to look funky on here. But this is the cutest little light, and I've been using it. It folds, okay? So it can actually stand to put stuff under if you're doing your nails or whatever. Or hold it this way, and it goes so bright. So it goes that way. There's three different settings. It's awesome. But, you know, you get to a certain point, you kind of need this. And I can see, like, you, you can't see, but I can see that's the wrong lights I want. Those score lines and how bright and how it's 20. And then even this little one, it's 30X. So this is my new favorite thing I got for Christmas. And I'm in love with it. And I already sent the links to a couple friends because <laughs> when I showed it to and she was like, oh my God, I have to have it. I'm telling you, you get to a certain age, you need these things. Okay, so... Let's cut this sections off and get our bag made. And then we're going to create These we're just going to cut all the way out. Just getting rid of them all together. Okay. Next section. I do have dirt. I can see the dirt on my hands. Very nice. On to my pretty white paper. Not good. I had, had ink and things all over here. All my brushes. I'm trying to find the perfect teal. Does anybody have a great teal? I'm looking for teal ink, teal raffia, or twine for my son and future daughter-in-laws. Their wedding doing the favors. And we're making um, little suitcases. They're themed for travel. That's, I'm sure you guys know me saying they're pilots. So if anyone has great places to get those, please tell me. 
um, or what your favorite teal colored inks are because I'm telling you I've been working on on those <laughs> the last few days I probably have that color in my hand okay so we're just gonna this we're going to punch holes for our little um, to thread our handles through let's fold it up and again I just want to show you how cute and easy this is going to be okay we're just gonna let's see that'll be glued over this part on the bottom is what's gonna get fold in here and it's gonna make it pop up so let me show you first thing I'm gonna do is take this and I'm just going to glue onto the inside so we can make this all one piece. And just kind of line that up. Do I have it in there? And I just kind of hold it for a second. Give it the old heat rub burnish there. Now once we have that done, I'm going to just leave it like Put this leave it like that and we're going to take our punch okay, so this is one of my smaller punches and we're going to try and keep kind of keep that folded so where it's going to be approximately this is going to be your top the fatter part and i just go in you want to make sure you're not hitting can you see those gussets so a little bit more to the inside um you could probably if you want to even Measure it, you can see it's three and three quarters. So if you go about an inch in on each side, let's just put it back there. And about however far down you want. I'm not sure how far this will reach. Let's see how far that'll reach. It only goes a little bit further. But actually, this is erasable ink. So even if I, so let's see, at about an inch, right? And this is just about three and a half, so at about two and a half. So even if I don't punch exactly that hole, okay, I'm just going, so it should be a little further down, but we're going to line it up on that. So straight in, punch, straight in. Do I have it even lined up? I think. And then we're going to just zap it. It okay. takes a second to kind of heat up but it will just erase that in a second. And now we have no, no ink showing. Then I'm going to take about two pieces of, I think I'm just gonna use the whites here, five inches each. So if you just cut about five inches, give or take, I always just leave a smidge extra, I'd rather be able to retrim the um right here let's see retrim my little edges so ballpark here you go and then i'll just cut that in half okay so now we've got our little inches all you're going to do, and you probably, you could have done this beforehand, would have been a little bit easier. I don't know why I always just end up doing this, because I want to line up the holes and make sure it's not going to move afterwards, so. Okay, I'm not sure if you were hearing that incoming call, <laughs> I kept saying. Thread these through, and actually, it usually, uh, you know, helps if I can cut them on the angle, but I didn't, so. And just approximate how big or how long you want your little ribbon to be. Do both sides. And all I take is a little thing here. You can see the inside. Take a little bit of actual regular scotch tape and just hold it down because we're going to be folding this piece of paper over so you're not going to see that. So I just, you can see, to get an idea what you want it to look like. That looks about right to me. So I'm just going to tape that in and then I'll do the other side, but you don't need to watch me, you know, do it again. Okay. So if you want to do it easier, it is easier to just hold it. You know, um, if you haven't done this before, tape these down, you can see, and now I'm going to, we're going to push these out and I'm going to 
fold these under. So you've got to run the glue, fold it over. Yeah, I really should have done it the other way around. <laughs> but, but I don't know. I just get in the habit. And I like, the. I'll tell you the reason I like to see this. Let me fold it here. I like knowing that my little handles are lining up. So for me, I do it that way. But it will, I'll tell you right now, move that. it will be slightly easier if you do it the other way. If you do it, like I want my handles to line up. So it will be slightly easier if you do it the other way. Okay, so let me glue these down. Again, also I should say, I use, um, this is very thin. This is like 120 GSM paper, not cardstock. If you want it a little sturdier, you can use cardstock. But I find it fine, lays nice and flat in my card. So that is kind of why I stick to that. All right, so let's, what do I do with my glue? We're going to just, you can use a dry adhesive or I use the wiggly room glue, of course, because it's just easier. Just don't, again, it's thin. So you do not need a lot. Make sure you put your flaps out. Okay, and just kind of get them in there and then flatten and burnish. That's it. One, two, three. And as you can see, you can't see the ribbon or the tape or any of that. Okay. Other side. Just do it real quick. And just stick those out. I'm telling you, I feel like I'm making this look harder than it is. It's actually really simple. <laughs> I feel like oh, I need to do a redo of this. But I needed the little um, things. And there we have our cutie pie little bag that's going to pop up in our cart. Okay, so next we need to put some decorations on it. So let's measure these pieces out. And be aware when you have a directional paper, you got to make sure you're cutting them the right way. So what I'm going to do, I'm using this as a, on the outside, I'm going to use this as my mat and layer, okay? So the sizes we want, let's just do these first. Okay, so for the solids that we're going to use for our base mat, let's put this, my, our little bag up there, we're going to do... Let me see, make sure I get this right. Four and one eighth by three and three eighths for one of them. Is that right? No. Let me see, wait, yeah. Four and one eighth by three and three eighths. So let's start with that. Four and an eighth by three and three eighths. Let's go. And I'm just gonna, again, put it on back because four and one eighth because I will forget by three and three eighths okay so you got that just to make sure I keep the same ones here the second one will be four and an eighth by two and three eighths so we are an eighth it should be yeah that's already it by two and three eighths And again, I'm going to mark it because I have so much stuff all over. Four and one eighth by two and three eighths. Okay, so that's that solid. Then we're going to go to our pattern, pretty pattern paper. So I, you know, depending on how you want this to lay out, are you going to want decide if you want your paper going, you know, this way, or do you want your paper going? This way, that will determine which way you're going to, because you want it all to run the same. Doesn't necessarily have to be all, you know, exactly um, correct. Like as far as the the lining them up, I'm not that precise, but I want them at least to not be going one way and one way. So make sure you know which way you're doing that. So I want my paper to run this way so what i'm going to do again cut off this extra end real quick very quickly okay and then we're going to do it at four inches four all the way around okay so they're going to be at four inches wide the first one will be three and a quarter so again let's write 
four by three and a quarter. I know which ones are which. The second is going to be four by two, let's see, what did I say? Two and a quarter. Four by two and a quarter, so we'll line that up. Again, I like this pattern because it's cute and I don't think you need to have it exactly right. Like exactly spot on matching. So, it's going to work out like this on this one. Here, we're going to have it like this on this one. So, just the slightest bit. And then these are going to go, this is going to be our front, okay, of our pretty paper here. Okay. So, before I glue that, I'm just going to cut the rest of them. So for the inside, which is going to be on either side of my shopping bag, and our white, to just keep reminding how we're going with this, we're going to cut four by two and three quarters and four by two and a quarter. So we're already at four on the distance. So let's do the first one is two and three quarters. Four by two and three quarters I guess I'm just kind of do this along with you because I think it's easier if you see it while we're doing it opposed to me saying oh look at this look at this look at this. I don't know that's just me the other is four by two and one quarter so it's already four two and one quarter A little hard to write while I'm <laughs> in midair there. Okay, now let's glue some things together. So, before I we'll leave this here for now, put my little bag over to the side for now. Love my wet glue because it does, in fact, give me that little bit of... Um, wiggle room you know okay give it a good rub again the next two we've and i realized i'm kind of like all over the place i have i have been doing crafting i had to clear out my desk just to even get to this oh my gosh like from the holidays and stuff and we have just had company more company all good stuff traveling um it's just it's been cr good crazy busy my sister got out of the ICU and then out of the hospital so it's been good busy of uh, good busy okay and now we're doing fun stuff for Valentine's Day and I just I love this one so whether you're gonna put a certificate for a foot rub out for dinner or whatever you want on those I think it's terrific next you need to decide are you doing which way do you want to have it do you want it to open like so the your little um our shopping bag is on what this side or decide shopping bag on this side for whatever reason I have for some reason I think I don't know the bigger side does it always go that way and then I can read it this way or do you want to which way should it be do you think so you can read I think I'm gonna do it this way so I can read it first and then there's my gift card yeah okay so I am going to then let's do the outside let's glue these on Fun part. I'll tell you, I love getting a shopping bag. You know, I'm tired of plastic bags. I guess I don't shop at the right places. I love when you go in like Sephora or um, Bath and Body Works or anywhere and they give you a bag with the totes. Because like that, I mean, that's what it used to always be, right? I, I, I remember that. I remember also having where it's boxed. I remember when I was young, John Wanamakers, this is up in Pennsylvania, used to give you with the gold cord on the red shiny boxes, and I just thought, like, it, it, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Of course, nothing beats a Tiffany box bag and all that, even when you ship. Did you know that they send it to your, they'll even put the tote bag and everything um, in that, because I bought gifts for people, So and I love that. <laughs> so... I'm a sucker for those things, which is probably why I like doing paper crafts and things like that so much, too. Okay, so there we have on our outside. Okay. Then on the inside, I'm thinking maybe I should probably do the bag first, is what I think we're going to do. So all you're going to do is you're going to fold this flat. We're going to do our little bag, fold it flat here. Okay. 
you're going to end up which way do I want to do it? placing it in okay just to give you an idea before I put the glue down and you're going to just fold it over and glue it so your little handles work out and of course I'm going to have to put a little bow charm something on there because you know I love that so let's glue that again you can use whatever kind of glue you like um wet glue red liner double-sided whatever you go with just one side at a time one one side at a time so to kind of hold that up a little closer which i really shouldn't be doing this while mid-air i try not to put it exactly on the fold like so i want it just a smudge um like just over it if that makes sense and then kind of push it back into it and then we're just going to hold that down for just a second so you just kind of center it okay now one side's done okay again because i'm not high tech and i don't have a camera that zooms for all of you sorry so i'm just going to hold it up and try and do it that way <laughs> but it still works i promise you it still works so fold and burnish this and just give it a second to grab okay I feel like those are off why do they look off okay and you can see already okay so it's good oopsie I shouldn't have pulled that up yet let's let that set let it set for a minute okay so this should now be looking yeah there we have it so it just pops up okay so now we're going to just put on our inside ones i am not i will show you where this is going but this will not get um glued down until such time as i have sentiments stickers my signature everything on there uh because it's a little awkward one to do it when you already have the bag so i'm just going to tell you this is where it is going i don't recommend just like with the bag it's easier if you do all that and then glue it together same thing uh, I could, but you know what? I don't want to take a chance. Or what if you bump it or whatever? So that's just my two cents on that. Let's glue down our side pieces. So this one is what's going here. Sorry, you can hear the tissue paper blowing around for the inside. Four by two and a quarter. Okay. Let's glue that down real very quickly. Make sure it's going the same way. Okay. Let's move that out of the way for now. and try and get that just kind of ballpark it in the middle there somewhere thereabouts Let's see see how i end up always 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 with the wiggle with me i don't know how people do it so are you a wet glue or a you know uh tape runner kind of girl because or guy because i'll tell you i i don't it's not that my hands are so shaky okay this one is going to be on this side four by two and three quarters just so you have that again but I just I don't know I don't seem to be able to line them up I guess you know I watch some of the experts you know when we watch on the videos and things like that and my gosh they just nail it <laughs> they just tape tape doop, and it's right in line exactly where it needs to be so this one's a little trickier because I can't I don't want to stick my head in there and I don't want to be getting the bag so let's just see to have it about right whoops a little wiggly there we go okay so now you see what we're kind of getting the inside here is going to be and of course i have like my little gems so there's going to be a couple i can guarantee you little gems going on here but they have to be you know somewhat small flat that kind of thing so but they're going to go on here because oh my gosh right how cute are they and they match to the, like little hearts and stuff so that'll be going in there we want to take our what do i do with that okay our little tissue paper and put it on in here so we get if you want to do i usually do two pieces because i don't know i like it looking fluffier so and it holds the card better okay it holds your gift card so if we take one of the gift cards then, and we're going to slink that right down in there. That one says, happy birthday. Let's pretend it says, I don't know, whatever you want it to say. But so then you have your card popping up, okay? And you're still going to have this 
folding down and now we of course we need a belly band because that tissue you know it's going to get a little bit of mush in there but it's cute i mean i think it's cute anyway so you'll do a little bit better job than i am with the tissue paper right there and our sentiment will go here so on the belly band what i'm thinking i'm going to do is i'm going to take a piece of the original paper which is the, the original card here and i'm either going to use like on part of the front or i may just go this is like some of the other goodies i have i'm trying to decide i was looking at you know what do i want to go on the front so these are just like little rosettes and things that i would have made and have kept around here but i think i need like a pink i see another pink one down there that's no, too big okay so yeah i don't like that with the flower on there okay so either this i think i'm gonna go with the purpley one because i think i'm gonna do that maybe put a little charm in heat a little thing in here and on my bag of course because I can't help myself. I want to put a charm somewhere. Like, I swear to God, I have a, or maybe I should just use this one so I have a little charm. And it's the heart. I don't know. I feel like if it's going on there, does that look right? I feel like the it should be the other color. Maybe with another band. Let me look. Let me look. I'll come back real quick. Okay, so for the belly band, I just did it an inch and a quarter thick. Kind of folded it up. And I do it to the front usually so I can I can idea and I don't want to make it too tight because you do want to be able to um you know they want to be able to hold it together but still get it on and off okay so let me see yeah that's good okay so what I will do take it and I'm just going to snip it there hopefully reasonably straight and at that point I try and usually I try and just cover it Okay, so whatever I'm going to do, whatever de decoration, I'll either put another band or like in this case, I think, I think that's the one I'm just going to use to make it a little bit simpler. I keep going back and forth to like this one and I think it's just the charm, but I feel like it's too big and too much commotion on there. So let's just glue this together. First, let me actually, I got to finish with, let's put my little... I want to put a charm here. Let's see. These are so cute. I have to tell you, they have like the cutest little sayings on this. This is just like all I love yous on there. Um, simple ones, double ones. I mean, like any, this is just so cute. And look at that. Made with love, hearts. I saw some really other cute ones. Single ones, outlines the glue all over look at how cute these are there's just so many of them so I, I kind of feel like I need to put one on here <laughs> so let me pick one loop it on my bow and we'll be right back okay I'm gonna go with this cute little teeny tiny can you I hope it's focusing where it says love and I'm just gonna get the hot glue out it's gonna go right on here and we're going to hot glue the belly band or the uh the topper right onto it too because that has on the back on the rosette you can see so i'll just do that all in one step okay so we're just going to take i've just glued our belly band now i'm going to take just a smudge of here kind of more like down the middle because obviously i don't want it to get too wide of our hot glue and i'm just going to layer that right over about the middle and where the seam is and hold that for a couple seconds so hearts 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 has everybody started their valentine's day it's like i felt like i couldn't even handle the idea of starting anything and i'll tell you what i know normally like we keep the decorations up till the sixth but it's uh what is the day today 11th 12th and my decorations are in fact still up because um my son and his fiance are here and we kind of had like an, another extra christmas sort of thing so while they're there and that's it there we have our pretty little card okay so we've got a rosette on there they can take your belly band off and we have it open 
this signature obviously not put in here's our little shopping bag and i put you can see the little charms oh my gosh i just love them with the little thing tied on and whatever you're going to do in there and that's it that is today's um little tutorial and i'm going to try and do a lot more of those than hauls like i did in past because you know what i want to start using more of my stuff and i think that's what all of us need um to do because like many of you, I probably have enough to last forever. So if you'd like to see more tutorials and cute little things to do, please subscribe. Uh, drop me a comment. Let me know if you've either made these. Did you try it out? Do you like it? What you'd like to see? That kind of thing. And I hope to see you all again very soon. Bye for now.